what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Vilma and today I'm going to be doing a Bobbi Brown makeup tutorial it's going to be the majority of the products that I'm going to be putting on my face will be Bobbi Brown the ones that are not I'm not going to film those but you can find them listed in the info bar below I really wanted to try more products from Bobbi Brown very recently I bought skincare one of their foundations and concealer. I've done a review on the foundation, so make sure if you want to know a little bit more of the foundation to check all the information in the down bar. But today I'm going to be using that particular foundation along with new products and I'm going to be sharing my first impressions on it. So the foundation that I'll be using in this video will be the new Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Longwear Foundation. On my review, I didn't have the actual foundation itself I had a sample so I'm super excited to show you guys the bottle I'm sure you've already seen it um, but I did mention that I ordered mine but it just did not arrive in time for me to do that review now the shade that I was matched to is natural 10 which is 4.25 if you want to know a little bit more about this foundation make sure to check the link below have a look at the review and maybe make up your mind if it's something that you would like to invest or not i have to say that i absolutely love it it gives me a flawless finish but it looks like skin and it's something that i absolutely love next i'm going to be using the bobby brown instant full cover concealer which i got along with the foundation and here is the packaging the shade that i was matched to is natural because i said to the assistant's assistant at the store that I wanted to look natural and not highlight anything on my face. Now, not a first impressions, I have used this uh, concealer for the past week and I absolutely love it. I love the way it looks on the skin. It looks very natural. It has full coverage, a really good amount of coverage, but it's also very brightening. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is the, um, not the packaging, but the wand itself. I feel like it doesn't take a lot of product. Um, but I can still make it work. This is also a concealer that the texture is so thick that it's better for you to blend it out with your fingers. The warmth of your fingers will make this concealer blend really, really nicely. They also say on the website that this is a creaseless concealer that you don't need to set. But on me, it does crease a little bit depending on how much I apply. So I need to be kind of careful and I still set it with a powder because without setting it, my concealers just move around don't sit properly on the skin but this one if you don't have fine lines puffy eyes i think you don't need to set it so as you can see once it's blended in it just looks really natural although it has covered my under eye circles which is mostly on the inner corners of my eyes i absolutely love the coverage it's very light like super light on the skin so it's something that i think i will be repurchasing once i finish it i really like how it sits i'll probably even get a lighter shade just to highlight the higher points of my face like my chin my nose stuff like that i think it's a really really nice concealer but like i said i'm going to be setting it with a powder any other products that i'm using that are not bobby brown please make sure to check the info bar below for more information so i've set my concealer and foundation off camera along with doing my brows as well and the next four products that i'm going to be sharing with you guys which will be first impressions are from a christmas a gift set from bobby brown this set is called the instant glam set and although four products are included on here they're also included in their permanent line so i really wanted to try a set so i could get more products and share with you guys my thoughts now this set in particular consists of uh, four products two of those i've always always wanted to try i have a shimmer brick in sunset pink the eye opening mascara which is something that i've always been curious i have a luxe lipstick in rose pink i believe that's the name and i also have a eyeliner this one is called the ink liner in blackest is black i think something like that so let's get started so the first thing we're going to be trying is the shimmer brick in sunset pink it comes like this and these are the shades that come in this shimmer brick i've always always wanted to try bobby brown shimmer bricks and this one looks absolutely amazing so what i'm going to do quickly is just swatch all the shades in one 
and I can already see that I'm going to love this shade because it's going to be very useful for like every day um, every time of the year I really love shades like this so the brush that I have here is the Sigma F10 and I'm going to just swivel the brush all over the shades and I'm going to be applying it on my cheeks and I can already see a little bit of a glow coming on my cheeks which I absolutely love there's barely any fallout if any on the shimmer brick on the pan it is super light I was expecting maybe some glitter but there's no glitter at all I hope the camera is translating the color that I see it looks really really pretty and you can just use it all over your cheeks. I like it. I absolutely love how my cheeks are looking right now because there is a little bit of dimension on my face instead of just being one color. And I feel like definitely you can use this as a blush if you have similar skin tone to mine or lighter. This is super pretty. I'm gonna try and just use the top shade just on the um, high points of my cheek to see if I can highlight my face a little bit more but I definitely love the overall finish right now so I'm going to use a elf stippling brush and I'm just going to take the two shades at the top actually and I'm just going to do it right over here It gives a little bit more of a highlighted look at the top, but not that much. Maybe I'm not using the right brush, but this finish right now, I really, really like it. Continue using the Shimmer Brick. I'm just going to do a wash of color on my eyes and see how it looks. But this time I'm only going to use the bottom shades. I feel like it's translating more as a highlight or just really a wash of color but nothing too overwhelming so I'm going to use the top ones and I'm going to do it on my other eye I'm not too sure if it's translating on camera but it's just giving me a very very subtle wash of color on my eyes nothing too overwhelming so I could definitely use this on a day-to-day -day basis without having to apply other eyeshadows because this right here is looking really really good Next, I'm going to be using the ink liner. I love liner pens, but from Bobbi Brown, I've only used that long wear gel, which I absolutely love. It is truly long wearing, and I don't know about this one, but I am excited to try it. First impressions, the pen itself is quite stiff. It's not one of those that you have Kind of like control the pen this one is somewhat stiff it's very pigmented and quite black super pigmented i find Overall, I do think that it's a nice liner, but it's nothing like it's a wowing me whatsoever. You can find something very similar at the drugstore. I find that the tip is very stiff. That could be a good or a bad thing. It depends on what type of tip on your pants that you actually like. I feel like I need to get used to it because I don't have a lot of control whether I'm using a 
stiff tip or not on my eyeliner especially when I'm doing it on my right eye sorry my left eye however I do find that it's quite pigmented it's very black and it's matte which is good it doesn't have any sheen to it so I finished both eyes and one thing I've noticed is that when I'm doing my flick at the end having that this is a lot stiffer than the ones that I'm used to I have a lot more control I was expecting my tape to just look completely different from the right and they pretty much look the same which I'm super happy and like I said the finish is quite matte I do need to get used to the fact that it's a lot stiffer than my usual liners but so far so good but I'm not wowed but I just need to get used to it. Next we have the eye opening mascara and I'm so excited to try this because I've always always wanted to try this mascara. I think it's been out now for a couple of years if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this and what you think about it. I love the packaging. Now this is the brush. The brush is kind of like one of those big ass brushes if I can say so myself. Um, there's more product on half of the brush like towards the tip than at the back um, but let's see how it goes so this is one layer of the mascara on I do notice a huge difference in thickness and in length I do find that the brush is a little bit too big for the bottom lashes, although I made it work. I wish that the brush was a little bit smaller, but right now I do like the um, overall finish. I do feel that I don't even need another coat. I will go for the second one just to show you guys if it clumps or not, because it could have the tendency to clump. I'm not entirely sure yet, but so far I do like how my lashes look. So here are two coats of the mascara. Definitely need to be careful because it has a tendency to clump. However, it definitely made my lashes be seen, which is something that I absolutely love. And again, I applied another coat on the lower lashes. I had to be really careful so I wouldn't touch my skin. It's a really, really large brush, so I don't think it's the most appropriate for lower lashes depending on the length that they have. But I do like the overall finish. It definitely made my lashes look a lot fuller and longer than they actually are. And it made the look look a lot prettier in my opinion. So this is definitely a really nice mascara. And for those of you who like to apply two and three coats, I actually feel like the second one is more than enough. But you can get away with the first. And the last product is one of their Luxe lipsticks. This one is in the shade neutral rose i think i said something different at the start of the video but it's called neutral rose and it looks like this it's kind of like a mauvey pink which is definitely up my alley i absolutely love shades like this so we're going to try and see what type of coverage and texture this lipstick provides really really like how pigmented it actually is and it feels really moisturizing my lips feel really really sore at the moment just because of the cold and these just feel like a lip balm full of coverage I really love this lipstick. I always wear MAC lipsticks, but this is very, very nice. It's very similar to a MAC lipstick that I have, which is matte. This one is more of a, I don't know, luster type of finish. It has a sheen to it. It's, it provides really, really good coverage on the lips. I really, really like this shade. So that is it for today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, what do you think about them? And if you want to see my full on review on this foundation, make sure to check the info bar below. 
for the video link. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from myself. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.